Patrick from One Shot Kill It Media here, and today I'm in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin with John over at Huber Concepts. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and take this EDM Arms Windrunner 96, this 50 cal, and we're actually going to take out the old Remington style trigger and replace it with one of John's Huber triggers. It'll be a two stage set at about uh, three, point, three and a quarter pounds. So you'll get a good feel on this at every range. Um, I have my necessary tools. It's meant to be a drop-in trigger. We removed all the ammunition, safety first. We moved the bolt and the buttstock assembly. Uh, with that, we next remove the pistol grip and uh, the trigger housing. And set that aside. Okay. What we have to do is this gun has a relatively obscure way of doing the safety lever, but it's meant to come out through a window through the side of the receiver. So we have a special handle made for it, and we're ready to pop this trigger right out. So what we'll do is we'll move this out here. Um, I'll show you right off the bat. Here's that safety lever as it comes up from the side on that particular side. You can see the trigger and everything on the safety lever right there. I usually drift the rear pin out first. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this camera here so I can give you a look at what John's actually doing here for the process. Okay, when you're doing this, they're, they're eighth inch pins, but please remember to use a less than eighth inch pin to push through, otherwise you damage the holes that the pins are going through. Now, in removing the rear pin, it liberates the entire guts of the rest of the trigger. So I'm going to continue that, uh, releasing the sear spring, and that will release the, the remainder of the trigger in itself from the receiver. Now the sear, when we remove the front pin, the sear and the sear spring will fall into the receiver and it's just a matter of pulling it out from the inside. Here's the spring. And there's the sear. And we'll put slave pins back into it to hold your trigger back into the configuration. We send along uh, short little slave pins so that you can make sure that the trigger goes in completely assembled so you don't have to worry about liberating the sear. Uh, it's a simple thing that if, if in case you do liberate the sear, um, you just make sure that the sear spring sticks forward into this pocket in the top of the sear and I'll get it to lay down like that and sticks uh, an allen wrench or a screwdriver through make sure it just goes back in there and that the pin captures the back part of the sear and you're all set to go okay so once we've drifted the pins out of the old trigger it's just a matter of rotating the trigger out of its pocket okay from that point I'll put the trigger itself back together. Put the sear in there. Uh, the Remington sear configuration is a little bit different. Usually it drops into its appropriate spot and the pin rolls away. So there are the slave pins that get put back in there. Now you have your trigger to uh, pass on to your next unfortunate guy. So okay now we have our next trigger. This is the Huber two-stage trigger. Gonna go in. What we have to do is you have to lay it in there. There. Yeah it's close. Right there, come on. There. 
There we are. It's slightly longer than the original handle, but everything goes in quite well. Now, I'm sliding it down inside the trigger well. Now, once you got it close, don't just start pounding these pins through. I visually look down the hole and make sure that I can see where that pin is supposed to go. If it doesn't, you're just going to beat the crap out of it. So we just, you do want, you want to do the front hole first. Okay. I'm going to go back the same way I took them out, which means we're going to go through here. There, look at that. Just drops right down. Just a little bit of the corner front. There we go. And the slave pin falls out the back. There it is. That would be the screw you'd otherwise put back in your POS. <laughs> I didn't hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> okay. Last, the rear pin. Okay, we successfully have the trigger installed and the safety fully clears everything. Okay, so that can be taken care of thusly. Alright, we can proceed to put it back together. All right, function test. Does not fire. Okay? To fire. Oh, hey, we're going to have to feel that again. Okay? Ba 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 ba. Oh, so sweet. And you won't even believe this is three and a quarter pound trigger because you take arguably a pound or so up in the first stage. So when you come to the wall, you get a perfect marry up against your finger. Your finger's already preloaded. So when you want to move that finger ten thousandths of an inch, you move that trigger exactly ten thousandths of an inch. It goes off before you realize the shot's gone. Thank you very much. That's perfect. We got plenty of them. Yeah, man. That is, yeah, that's absolutely perfect. It's right on that edge, man. That's perfect. Gotta love it. Yeah. Try that trigger. Yeah, man. You <laughs> I'm excited for that. Oh, yeah. That's so smooth. Now, arguably, <laughs> it's going to cut your time waste by two-thirds. Yeah, that's awesome. So, what you're going to see is a distinct reduction in your group size. Man, just, just the difference in just dry firing, you know, versus the original trigger versus your trigger is... It's a world of difference. I've heard all kinds <laughs> of different terms. Lights yeah. out, like night and day. Yeah. Just... There's no comparing it. It's, yeah. it's totally unique. The thing I love about it too is the original trigger, you'd have so much trouble with how beefy that sear was actually getting your safety to reset properly. You'd really have to crank on it. And this is just a light touch, like what you'd expect with any other rifle. Right. And it's, well, see, that, yeah. that's the whole process. Yep. We, had to, we had to be problem solvers yep. because we took everybody else's problems and we solved them. Yep, there you go. Well, you've got the answer. It's right there, and I've seen it myself. So, <laughs> great work, John.
That is that is awesome, man. I Thanks appreciate much, it. Patrick. Thanks for having me over to your facility here. And then, uh, like always, people, again, this is Patrick from One Shot Kill It Media, John from Huber Concepts. And uh, if you're in the market for any sort of trigger upgrade, this is definitely the one to get. So thank you for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. <laughs>